Hello friends, welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Today I have something I want to talk about that's somewhat anxiety, anxiety, anxiety related. I will get it if I enunciate more. <laughs> so, um, uh, the, anxi the anxiety that comes through finances uh, is a big, big deal. For some of us, it can be the majority of our anxiety. Uh, if you have your finances in order, everything is great, and this is fine, I still think that this video can be beneficial to you. Um, and if your finances are all in a poop, stick around. <laughs> so, without getting uh, too rambly before we start here, let's get right into it. So, if you live in America or Canada, or the UK, or many of the, the, the English-based uh, countries, uh, you will find that the value of your currency is, is depleting. Uh, and the reason for that is because of inflation. So we've, we've all heard of inflation before. And with the American dollar specifically, it has been inflating like crazy. They are now printing trillions of dollars as opposed to the billions or millions that it used to be. And that being said, every time one little dollar prints, uh, your money that's in your pocket becomes instantly less valuable. And so it used to be, and this is the same for Canada and the UK and everything else, and, and all those other countries, and most countries, any, any country that's considered a fiat currency, which is, uh, it has no um, intrinsic, like, it has no real value. It's an IOU, which is basically what uh, the US dollar is. It's an IOU. It's a, it's a credit, basically. And the way that they did that back in the day is gold and silver and sometimes even copper in the history. Uh, platinum, those things like that, but mainly gold and silver, those two, have been used as money for 5,000 years. They were using it in Egypt, back and forth. Uh, that being said, it's always been money, it always will be money, and they say that every fiat currency that has been out stands about somewhere between 40 to 50 years before it goes into what's called hyperinflation. Hyperinflation is where you have money that they keep printing more and more and more. And so like I said, as soon as they print more, it becomes worth less. Not worthless, but worth less. Until eventually it becomes worthless. So if, you know what I mean, whereas when you have gold or silver, there's a set amount out here. There's a set amount that we pull out of the ground and we, this has been like this for a long, long time. And so that being said, gold and silver, you can so say I'm in America, I can take my gold or my silver and I can take it to any other country for the most part, any other country that I can think of, and I can trade it there for their currency. My gold and my silver is valuable everywhere and that's not the same as the dollar. Uh, it used to be, we used to be on the dollar standard for uh, the world used to use the dollar, that's why people have gotten so comfortable with it. And that being said, now uh, countries are dropping the dollar like hotcakes. Like they're they are dropping the dollar, they're not using the dollar as much as they did. Some countries are, they used to use the dollar as an exchange between one country to the other. Now they're not doing that anymore. Um, and you can look all this stuff up. I'm not making any of this up. Uh, <laughs> you can look it all up, it's, it's insane. But what happened is, is now uh, the US dollar has been up there for about, I think it's like 70 years now. So it's actually went past the time of every other fiat currency that's out there. And so now we're starting to see that the dollar is depleting because we are printing now trillions and trillions of dollars into debt. And so we're getting to the point where it's getting to be too much. So I have some other currencies that I've invested in, invested in, I just bought them. Um, like the Iraqi dinar, I, I purchased some Iraqi dinar, and I think I, I think I 
type of perches are the Vietnamese, it's called a dong, as funny as that is. Uh, <laughs> uh, like you can take the Vietnamese dong and you can have like 30 trillion of their dong, and as bad as that sounds, and that like will barely buy you a loaf of bread. So what does that tell you? Same thing with the dinar. You can take the Iraqi dinar, and I think I have like 120,000 Iraqi dinar, and I paid, I mean, I paid more for it just to get it into the country. I think I paid $28 for it, like something stupid. Well, but in that country, it's so depleted because of hyperinflation. It happened to them. It happened to Vietnam. It's happened to several places, and it's on its way to happen to us. Now, I'm not telling you this, to freak you out uh, or make your anxiety worse. I'm telling you this because as my subscribers, I really consider you guys to be like my friends. I know a lot of your stories. Uh, I, you know, I keep tabs with a lot of you people uh, as time goes on to see how you guys are recovering, how things are going. And that being said, I've come to have a, a friendship with some of you guys. Um, and guys are great and so I want to make sure that if I think something is valuable that I pass it along and so this actually will go coincide with anxiety because financially uh, if you were to start taking your paper money and turning that into gold and silver you are creating a base and a barrier and it's a great way to save money it's a great way to hedge against inflation. And if the dollar does go into hyperinflation, you're covered. You're, you're just good. <laughs> you're, you can take it anywhere in the world. And of course, if you know if they have, uh, what's it, S-T-H-F, the S-H-T-F, which is a shit hits the fan scenario. So like a doomsday kind of thing. Uh, you will have a good currency to exchange uh, for whatever it could be. You know what I mean? Whether it's food, toilet paper, it doesn't matter. Somebody will take your silver or gold uh, in exchange for that. So, here's my thought process. If I'm at the end of a row and I say, hey, you're my friend. Uh, at the end of the road, there's a guy that's handing out $1,000 to anybody who walks to the end of this row. If I didn't tell you about that guy with a thousand dollars, wouldn't you be like, dude, why didn't you tell me that there was a thousand dollars at the end of the road? I would have walked down there with you. You see what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at. I want to make sure that I let you know about the guy down the road for a thousand dollars as your friend. And so this is just my belief in my, uh, I've done a lot of research and this isn't something new to me. Uh, this is something that I've been doing for about five years now, so it's kind of in like it's kind of in my my uh, my realm and my process. If you don't do any kind of investing, this is a super awesome, fun way to get started in investing too. And the more you invest, the more secure you're going to be. The more secure you're going to be, the more anxiety falls. Everybody's happy. So that being said, uh, silver. Let's see, that's silver. I always have some silver on me somewhere. Uh, if you are interested in getting into silver or gold, um, I always keep this thing on me all the time. This is my little um, money clip. Well, on this money clip is a peace dollar from 1922. 22? 22. It's a 1922 peace dollar. Now, this inside is the actual coin that they used back in 1922 as a silver dollar. So I can, I, I, you know, pop this out, and it's still, you know, the coin. I find it now. Uh, it's still the coin. But that being said, in 1922, this was one dollar's worth of silver. And so what they would do is, eventually, they came out with a lot of people know is what's called the silver certificate. And you've all seen silver certificates. Uh, silver certificate was a way for people to say, hey, look, these coins are heavy, and we don't want to have a whole bunch of them in our pocket, so I'll tell you what. You give me your silver coin, I will give you this piece of paper. This piece of paper, if you read the top of a silver certificate, 
can be brought back at any time in exchange for your silver dollar. So you have a dollar's worth of silver. That works. Somebody said, okay, we'll try it out, see how it goes. And it worked fine for a while. The silver standard or the gold standard. So that being said, uh, any change from 1964 and before that day and before is 90% silver. Silver now has a lot more value than it did back then. So this will give you a great example. Um, back in the day, People say, oh, I was out there working, and I was working for $1.25 an hour. Right? It doesn't sound like it much. But the standard was to give them five, five gold or uh, silver quarters. Well, if you have five silver quarters today, that comes out to, let's see, I think, so, I think silver quarters now are running like three something. Uh, per quarter, like three fifteen a quarter or something like that. So three times five, that's fifteen dollars. That would have been fifteen dollars an hour at today's money in silver. So you can see that eventually they stopped making this silver in coinage in 1964. They said, all right, no, don't put silver in there anymore. And then eventually, once there was no more silver, people said, well, hey, I still have this silver certificate. Give me my silver back. And you would think that they gave them back their silver dollar, but they didn't. I did a job for a guy who was really invested in the silver, and he says he remembers that time. And he remembers going to the bank with his silver certificate, and they gave him a little packet, a little plastic packet of silver dust. We call it silver shot. And that was what they gave him. And I guarantee you it wasn't worth what the silver dollar was worth. And so the government withheld all that silver back. And at the time, in 1965, when people were collecting silver, this is the same guy telling me the same information. He goes, in 1965, people said, oh, well, I'm just going to hold my silver if you're going to change the, the coinage over to, like, nickel and clad, which is, you know, not worth very much at all. I'm going to take that back. The mass public called them crazy. They were like, wow, what nutbags trying to hold on to the silver. Okay. That's the same thing for people that hold pennies right now that are still made in copper. And I think that's like, I want to, don't quote me exactly. I think it's 83 and before. It's all copper pennies. Some people hold those back from their, you know, taking in change because it's, that penny is worth about two pennies in copper. See how the system works? So, there's easy ways to get a hold of this stuff. It is a great thing. It's fun. There's obviously more coinage and more ways to get. This is, they call uh, all these old coins, they call it junk silver or constitutional silver. Both of which, junk silver makes it sound like it's worthless and it's not. It's worth a lot. And uh, when you go to places to buy it, uh, which you can go to like your local coin store, coin shops and stuff like that, and uh, they'll call it junk silver, but nobody thinks it's junk. Okay, even the guy at the coin shop, he's going to have a premium. Silver and gold both have a set price, world price. And I think right now, silver is sitting at 17, 17.50, I think, an ounce today. 17.50, 17.30, somewhere right in there, per ounce. Now, for every dollar forty that you put together, this is how they did it, and it was awesome. For every dollar forty that they put together through these coinage, so if you have... Uh, dollars, halves, quarters, and dimes. It's got to be the silver ones. Nickels didn't have it other than the war nickels, but that was back in the war times they made 35% silver. We're not worried about that. Take nickels out of it. You're not going to find very many. Um, so between those, dimes, quarters, halves, and dollars, anytime you make up a dollar forty worth of silver or with a face value, you're going to have one ounce. So you're, you're taking every dollar forty is worth in our time now, $17.50, give or take a little bit. So, there's other ways to buy silver. You can buy silver, junk silver. You can buy silver bullion is what it's called. Bullion, B-I-L-L-I-O-N, I think, bullion. B-U-L-L-I-O-N. 
uh, you can buy silver bullion, and uh, what that is is like they're like coins. They have them in in uh, uh, little bricks, like little squares. Um, they have them in any different. They have all kinds of different ways to buy it. Uh, but basically, that'll have a coin or a coin shape, and it'll say the ounce and the purity. Like they have what's called American Silver Eagles. That is a government round that the government puts out, which is one ounce of silver. They also have uh, the gold eagles, which are a one ounce gold piece, and Canada has them. Canada has some uh, maples, which are beautiful. The UK, uh, Britain's got the Britannias, which are one of my very favorites. Uh, the coins are beautiful. China has the pandas. The, oh man, they have series. So China has pandas. Uh, Australia has the kookaburra, and they also have um, kangaroos, and oh, they have, it's awesome. You guys will love it. So yes, this is all the ways of doing it. You can buy it in 5, 10, 15 ounces. Go to your local coin shop. You can also get online if you're interested in, in investing in this stuff. Um, I'm not making any money to tell you this, but I think it's going to be beneficial for you, so that's why I'm doing it. Uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I got a call. Threw me off. You can go on to, I think it's JM Bullion. There is the silverbowl.com you can go to. Uh, there are all kinds of online websites. And you're always going to try to get silver as close to spot price as you can. Um, you're, if you buy it from a coin shop or anywhere, um, they're going to charge you what's called a premium on it. And that's basically the price of silver. So say this was an, a one ounce. So this thing is worth $17.50 if this is one ounce. Well, they're going to say, okay, well, it's worth $17.50, but we charge uh, $0.50 cents over spot or a dollar over spot. So you're going to pay $18 to get this $17.50. 15 cent coin. You see what I'm saying? Or it'll be 18.50 for a 17.50 coin. So that's just how that works. That's so that the coin shop or the company can make their money by buying it and selling it. That's how they make their money. So they make that dollar getting it and they take that dollar selling it. Because usually when they buy it back, they'll buy it for like 50 cents under spot. Or they're going to try to buy it as close to, you know, under spot as they can. So they say, I'll buy it back for for 50 cents under and I'll sell it for a dollar over. So they made a dollar 50 in that one little transaction. So that's how they make their money. So that being said, if you guys have any questions about this stuff, I know this video ran kind of long, but it's really cool stuff. It's really important. And I think it really will help your anxiety because it's going to make you feel more safe. If you put even a hundred ounces or even 10 ounces of silver behind you, you are going to feel so much safer. And if you ever have to dip into it, you will have that option and that luxury, and then always you can resupply it. Um, if you guys have any more questions on this stuff, uh, this is one of my one of my favorite hobbies, so I can just talk for days about it. Obviously, we're almost 20 minutes into it, so <laughs> um, there's a lot of information I haven't even said yet. So if you guys are interested and you want me to do another video, just let me know because I would like to do that. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions, comments, concern, put them in the comments below. And uh, let's get a good look at that coin. And uh, yeah. There I am. There's my spiel. So get out there. Uh, diverse yourself. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. Diverse yourself into gold or silver. You can do platinum or anything like that. But these are the two uh, mostly standard ones is gold and silver. So, all right, friends. Uh, until next time, um, I'm Aaron. You're awesome. This is a peace dollar. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.